The Sprunt Conference welcomes Adrian Day Asset Management. Adrian Day has been a speaker at this conference virtually through from inception of the conference, uh, and he has been a money manager and, in fact, ally in many respects to the Sprout organization and to myself for over 30 years. We're delighted that, Air, that Adrian has chosen to visit us again this year and urge you to go by his booth. The Almaden Minerals Group are old friends of Sprout Global. We've backed this management team in one form or another over 20 years and been rewarded consistently. The group has now discovered two different projects which we believe will go into production. Having followed the prospect generator model and focused on eastern Mexico for many, many years. It's our pleasure to welcome Almaden back as they have been a sponsor every year that we have in fact uh, run this conference. A father and son team of Dwayne, Por Dwayne Poliquin and Morgan Poliquin are uh, have enjoyed renown really across the world as world quality prospect generators but also world quality entrepreneurs. RN Resources is backed by a highly successful young team who have discovered and sold two prior mineral deposits. This incarnation has one of the best technical teams ever assembled in Junior Resources with very high quality uh, geological talent uh, most, most of whom are refugees from major mining companies, drawn to the entrepreneurial bent of this young team and the prospect of being successful for the third time. This is a multi-company group, well-funded, well-regarded in capital markets, and as I say, one that has a very, very, very high-quality exploration team. Bonterra Resources has one of the most exciting new advanced mineral discoveries in Canada. The fact that it is in Canada will, of course, lead to the lowering of their cost of capital and the ability to develop the team's project much more expeditiously than might be the case if it were discovered somewhere else. The Canadian Shield is one of the world's truly great gold provinces, and it continues to unlock wealth generation after generation. This is just the latest iteration of a very high quality entrepreneurial and technically focused team enjoying success in a gold field that has been yielding wealth to investors for over a century. Make sure that you wander by the Bonterra booth if you care about Canadian gold discoveries. Casey Research, now part of Legacy Publishing, is run by our old friend Doug Casey. Doug Casey has been speaking at the, this conference virtually since the conference started and has been very active speaking at other Sprott sponsored conferences around the world. Doug Casey Publishing Empire, going back to the original international speculator, was one of the founding newsletters, if you will, in the hard money business and we're delighted to have Doug Casey with us here. Dalradian Resources is a return sponsor to this conference and has enjoyed the backing of Sprott for a substantial period of time. Uh, initially, we backed it as an advanced exploration play, but this is a multi-million ounce deposit in Northern Ireland that we feel is on the way to becoming more than a single mine, in fact a camp. Blessed by high grades, blessed by very good infrastructure, the company is now going through the final throes of permitting and financing what we think will be a very long-lived and very high-quality gold deposit, once again in Northern Ireland. Challenges with, finan challenges with financing and permitting, of course, because this is the first modern industrial stage mine in Northern Ireland, Ireland but one we think will be a success for a very long time. Erdine Resource Development is involved in very high quality mineral exploration in a real frontier market. This market is Mongolia. We first became attracted to Mongolia when Robert Friedland went in and drilled off the very high quality copper porphyry that is now Oyu Tolgoi, one of the world's largest and most lucrative copper gold deposits. Will Erdeen be able to repeat that world-class world success? Well, maybe not, but the truth is a high-quality exploration team, very experienced in very high-quality exploration ground, with an initial indicated discovery, means that uh, we believe this is very much worth people's attention if they're willing to take the risk, which of course we are in emerging and frontier market exploration. We consider Mongolia to be one of the most prospective and one of the most unexplored exploration terrains in the world. And we are hoping, as shareholders, 
that our dean is able to exploit this amazing productivity. First Majestic Silver and related companies have also been sponsors of our conference for a very long time. This company recently underwent an acquisition that many investment bankers believe was uh, transformative buying the large and venerable San Dimas mine in Mexico, one of the largest and longest lives producing mines in Mexico. This team is adept technically, they're great operating people, they also have great financing skills and great promotional skills. This particular company, First Majestic Silver, has become almost a brand name for silver equities and is extraordinarily sensitive to the silver price. If you, like many of us, believe that the silver market is due to improve in the next couple of uh, years, you should do yourself a favor and investigate uh, First Majestic Silver. Fission Uranium has a world-class uranium discovery in the Athabasca Basin in Canada which many have called the Persian Gulf of Uranium. This is in a new part of the basin, really in the southwestern part of the basin, where large-scale uranium discoveries haven't taken place before. But make no mistake, this is a, a multi-percent uranium discovery, one of the richest uranium discoveries in the history of Canadian uranium exploration. And it has occurred with a team that has been successful in the past, discovering and selling economic uranium deposits to the market. The fission team have been at it a long time through the uranium bear market, and they haven't merely survived, they have in fact thrived. Uranium bull markets are some of the most dramatic speculative events known to man. And when, I say when rather than if, the uranium market improves, the quality of this deposit and the experience of the management team will make it one worth watching. Hot chili is an almost unknown, except to Sprott, uh, Chilean-focused copper explorer and developer. The five-year bear market in Chile has made copper deposits suddenly available again for the first time in 25 years. Christian Easterday and his term have team pardon me, have located what we believe are two high-quality copper deposits. And importantly, they are backed by and partners with a mining company that is partially owned by the state of Chile and controls valuable infrastructure, including a port infrastructure, to uh, facilitate shipment by sea of uh, copper ores that we are certain will come into production in the next four or five years. This whole copper business seems to be undergoing a transformation as a consequence of investors' sense that the electric, electrification of the world, not merely vehicles, is going, going ahead full speed. And there's no better place in the world, based on either prospectivity or politics, to look for copper than in Chile. Ivanhoe Mines is, in one sense, the ultimate speculation. Never before in my career have three Tier 1 mineral deposits ever been contained in one junior vehicle. Add to that the fact that the person who is probably the most successful mining entrepreneur of my generation is in the lead, and you have what is truly an amazing speculation. From Kamoa Kakula, a copper deposit in Congo's famed Katanga Copper Belt, which is the most important copper discovery certainly this century, to Kapushi, the highest grade zinc deposit in the world, and then from there to the Platte Reef, an amazing platinum discovery in South Africa's uh, famed Bushveld district. This is just an amazing amalgamation of resources in one corporate vehicle. Political risk, to be sure, but listen to Robert Friedland, uh, who will in fact be speaking at this conference, and I think that you'll come away convinced that the rewards will overcome the risks. McEwen Mining may be the most investor-friendly mining company in the world. The CEO uh, and namesake, Rob McEwen, founded this company with the proceeds of the sale of his company to Gold Corp. In addition to owning over 20% of the company, by the way, none of it on advantageous terms, but all, all, all purchased in the market, uh, he famously takes a salary of $1 per year. Uh, this is an example of the type of corporate stewardship that we would like to see much more commonly employed across the mining business. With several projects on the path to production and with a, a 
involved and ethical CEO, we're delighted to have McEwen uh, once again sponsoring our conference. Miles Franklin Precious Metals uh, returns as a serial sponsor to our event. Uh, we have done business with this bullion and coin dealer for many years and I am delighted to say I have never had a customer complaint concerning Miles Franklin. Only praise for introducing investors to this fine firm. If you care about bullion coins, gold and silver, uh, why don't you go by the Miles Franklin booth and visit with them? As I say, many, many of our customers have, and I have yet to hear a complaint in a decade of doing business with Miles Franklin. The Next Gen Group are another in our series of multiple discovery successes. This team has been uh, almost unbelievably successful in discovering economic uranium mineralization in the Athabasca Basin. They have a world-class discovery, again, in the southwest of the basin, an area that has hitherto been very lightly explored. This is probably the highest grade uranium exploration uh, deposit that we have ever seen, and we look forward to it being revalued dramatically and probably, at least from my point of view, taken over when the uranium market returns to favor. Osisco well, Royalties is a very, very aggressive Canadian royalty and merchant banking company led by our own old friend, Sean Rosen. This is a team that one would not want to bet against if they're active in Canada. And mercifully, as a consequence of recent markets, the stock is, in our opinion, quite cheap. The Pinnacle Portfolio and the Oxford Club have been longtime friends at this conference. Uh, the uh, editor of the Pinnacle Portfolio, Eric Fry, has been speaking at this conference and moderating at this conference for many, many years, going back to the days when Agora Financial put on this conference. And we are delighted to have uh, both himself and the Oxford Club uh, back with us again. We are, of course, particularly delighted when sponsors are very long standing continue to be uh, here with us. I should also note uh, Alexander Green, one of our keynote speakers, is also an Oxford Club editor. UEC and Gold Mining Inc. are both run by a highly successful young team headed by a friend of Sprott's called Amir Adnani. Find out about this amazing young group of entrepreneurs who are assembling undervalued mineral deposits around the world in both the gold and the uranium sectors. I think that you'll find that this is a very high quality group of people and they, they fit in well with our theme of young superstars. You will note from my own keynote speech that I believe in aligning myself with serially successful teams and it's a particular pleasure to find a young team that Sprott can be aligned with for the next 20 or 30 years. When you go by this booth, you will see why we're attracted to this group.